So my name is Catherine and I'm the Education Officer here at Axe Valley Wildlife Park. Um, so I'm here today to give you a virtual tour of the zoo. Um, so um, let's get started and see what we can see. So here we have um, a map of the park and um, what I'm going to do is just have a wander around the park and just see um, as many animals as we can possibly see um, within the time that we've got. Um, so as I enter the park, um, here is one of our displays um, that we've got here um, as we just then venture across the bridge. And across the bridge, we've just got lots of our um, ducks and um, different sort of free ranging birds that we've got here in the park. Um, over the side, we've got um, some more ducks that are just nesting at the moment. Um, it's that time of year when we are seeing lots of eggs um, being hatched and lots of um, baby uh, birds all around the park. Um, we have lots of free ranging birds like peacocks, ducks and chickens roam in the park um, and also geese. Um, so we may see, well see some of those um, as we're walking around the park. Um, so the first enclosure that we come to um, is the flamingos. Um, so I am just going to um, actually enter um, this enclosure um, because actually we've got quite a few um, different uh, birds um, within this enclosure and I think it would be really nice um, for you to be able to see everything. Um, so the first thing that um, I want to show you first of all here is um, we have a bug hotel um, so in here we've just put lots of different tubes and wood and um, old pieces of bark that we no longer need and stones and what we're hoping is that um, it, it will just be a safe place for any bugs that want to go in there um, any bees as well for pollination and so forth and um, so it just gives them um, a nice safe place where they can um, pollinate and hibernate and all those kind of things um, so walking up now, um, hopefully you can get a nice view of our flamingos. Um, we've actually got two types of flamingos in here. Um, so um, you can see that we've got some smaller ones and then we've got um, some larger ones. So the smaller ones are the Chilean flamingos and then the ones at the back that have got the long necks. Um, those are the greater flamingos. So you can see um, quite a lot bigger. Lots of chickens in this enclosure as well, and we're also lucky enough to have a beautiful crown crane. We're just wandering off to the back of the enclosure there, and of course another bug hotel. So we'll continue on our tour and see what else we can find. And today in the park it's quite a nice day, it's not too hot, it's not too cold, so I am hoping that a lot of animals um, will be um, outside and viewing and we should be able to get quite a nice viewing for you all of some of our animals here at the park. So walking up now, just heading towards the Kawati enclosure. So if we turn a right, so in this enclosure you can see that we've got lots of high ropes lots of climbing frames and lots of areas um, for them to climb up onto. In the wild they would be naturally um, climbing up high in the trees but at the moment it looks as though they're inside. Oh here comes one. I was just about to say I'll go round to the other side. Here we are, here's one of our beautiful Kawatis. We've actually got two in here. We do have a male and a female and their favourite foods are actually eggs. Um, but we also do give them lots of banana, different fruits, carrots, oranges, peppers. And these are the ringtail Kawatis. So moving on. This is another exhibit that we've got at the moment. So we've got a lovely tarantula just sitting on the web. So as we head around this way now, we have come to the meerkat enclosure. So we've got six meerkats in here. These guys are very inquisitive, really happy to see you all. In the wild, they come from the Kalahari Desert. So in this enclosure, we like to replicate um, sort of like a sand effect and stones, quite a dry, arid area, but lots of uh, tunnel systems as well for them. Absolutely beautiful. So we'll continue now towards the paddocks. 
and hopefully on our way we will get um, a good viewing of some more of our animals. So before we get to the paddocks we are going to get to one of our owls um, and this is the U Eurasian eagle owl Ooh. sitting up Ooh. on his perch. This is one of the largest um, owls of the world. So absolutely beautiful. Ooh. And moving onwards, this is our porcupine enclosure. So our porcupines um, are inside at the moment. They're probably feeling a little bit tired. They do Ooh. normally sleep during the day and then they come awake at night time. So they are known as nocturnal animals. Ooh. We've actually got two of these, um, but the other one is inside having a nice little nap. So we were lucky enough to see one that was uh, awake, which was lovely. So just heading further down into the paddocks now. This is the lovebird enclosure. Lots of nice different Amazon type birds in there. And as we head down further into the paddocks, we then get a lovely viewing of the serval. So I'm just going to see if I can focus in on our serval for you. There he is, just poking his head out of the cat flap there. Again, we actually do have two of these, a male and a female. And they have lots of areas um, to hide in, lots of tunnel systems and grassy areas as well. So heading down even further, we should get a nice viewing of the Arctic fox. I can see already that she is curled up on her platform. And this is her favourite spot uh, that she likes to be. And you can see, beautiful. She, she's looking um, quite fluffy um, in some areas and not so much um, around her head. She's actually losing her winter coat. And um, because we've had um, quite an early summer and it's been really hot on some days, um, she has started to molt. So all of that white fur um, will sort of start to come off. Um, as she molts and then we see just the black fur underneath and then in the winter she starts to grow um, that lovely white coat again and um, she then has that nice thick layer to keep her warm throughout the winter so absolutely beautiful so we'll continue further down and in this enclosure we've got a mixture of birds um, including our sacred ibis And we've also got our cranes as well. We've got two of these cranes. If I step back, hopefully you can see he's quite large. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, and as I turn around, we go to the agouti enclosure. So I'm just gonna try and get that to focus in for you. And he's just stood there in his house so what we've done for these guys you can see we've um, got a lot of food just scattered around the enclosure and we're just trying to encourage them to um, forage or hunt for their food um, just to give them a bit of uh, something to do um, throughout the day so coming across the other side we've actually got another pack of meerkats over here so we've actually got uh, nine in this pack very inquisitive and they're all waiting busy waiting for something they're very inquisitive so a nice lovely pack of meerkats again so we'll continue on our tour and you see some of our geese our free ranging birds that are just roaming around the park And we'll continue round down to the paddocks, see what else we can find for you. Okay, so I'm going to continue straight up because I've just spotted um, a good viewing of some of our other birds. And we've also got our zebra at the top end as well. 
So here we've got our lovely kookaburra. <coughs> lovely sat up on the log there. And some very loud cranes as you can hear. And our night herons as well. Just gonna go over to the night herons and give you a nice viewing of these. So this enclosure is a relatively new enclosure. Um, so they are enjoying having all of that extra space at the moment. So everyone's really busy in this enclosure at the moment. They're still trying to sort of work out where everything is. They've got some lovely new branches all around here as well. So they are very busy um, investigating. So I'm just going to continue upwards now because the zebra have come right to the fence. Um, so I'm just going to continue up, try and get fairly close, or might have started him a little bit. We have to go quite slow with these guys because obviously we don't want to startle them in any way. They're very busy grazing at the moment. They've just come out the other side, so I'm just going to walk up very cautiously and um, just zoom in there for you. Get you a nice viewing there of our zebra. So as you can see, we've got two of these guys. In fact, if I turn the camera around, we might be able to get a viewing of both of them now, just happily grazing and grooming themselves. Absolutely beautiful. I think I might have startled them as I was rustling through the, the grass. Okay, so we'll continue further down in the paddocks and see what else we can find. So here is another enclosure of some more of the different birds we've got and some more beautiful cranes as well. They're very much enjoying the new grass at the moment. And they're very loud as you can hear. So as I start to venture off down the paddocks, um, I come across these beautiful chicks. So these um, little chickens, you can see um, they're sort of not fully grown yet. Um, they were born sort of about three months ago. Um, so uh, they are now starting to sort of get quite a nice plumage of feathers and you can see that they are sort of getting stronger and bigger every day. So um, heading down further into the paddocks now, um, I can see we've got a beautiful viewing of our capybaras. Um, so I will just walk on a bit further and then hopefully again zoom in for you so that you can see these beautiful animals. So it's just in between the glass and grasses at the minute, so very well camouflaged. And these are rodents, so they're basically like large guinea pigs, they're called capybaras. Um, and they are rodents, um, so they do um, like to eat um, things like grass and different plants and dandelions. Um, but here at the zoo, we like to give them a nice mixture of um, fruit and vegetables as well. I'll just move down a bit further because I've just spotted um, the other one a bit further down. Let's just see, there we are. So let's go down a bit further. You can see the sting and nettles in the way there. So there we are. A nice viewing of both of them there. Just relaxing, enjoying the bit of the sunshine. Um, and literally right next to me, this little one's come to say hi as well. Absolutely beautiful. So this deer's got the whole of this uh, paddock area. So lots of nice areas. And also, she does, she does live with another. Um, she's just relaxing. And I'll just go in a bit further. And uh, you can just see she's just sat down, enjoying the sunshine. Okay, 
Okay, so further down into the paddocks, um, we've got some more uh, different types of deers as well. So into the next one, got beautiful viewings now. These guys are quite close, very happy to see everybody. And to my right, we've got our lovely goats. I'm just going to turn the camera around. Um, so our keepers have um, cut up lots of different fruits and vegetables for them. And you can see that they are very happy about that. Just enjoying all those lovely different fruits and vegetables that have been given to them. Very lucky. Okay, so let's see if we can go a bit further down. So I can see that the wallabies have um, joined us as well, so we should be able to get a lovely viewing of these for you as well. Again, they're being spoiled at the moment, so they've got lots of nice fruit and veg. Here we see this beautiful one, enjoying some cauliflower leaves and carrots. We do have quite a few in here. Um, they're all distributed around the paddock area so I will wander up around and hopefully we will spot some more as we do so. We've got quite a few at the top end as well. Here we are. One in the grasses over there. Then the stinging nettles and the leaves. Okay, so to my left now we've got our alpacas and we've got a lovely range of these guys. They are very inquisitive, very friendly, so we'll probably have them all join us in just a moment. I'm just going to walk a bit further on so that we can get a viewing of all of them. We've got quite a few um, different colour ones as you can see. So they're enjoying their grass and leaves as well. Absolutely beautiful. They've not long um, had a haircut um, so they're looking pretty good at the moment. Okay so just going to come back down past the wallabies. Got a lovely beautiful one just sat there by the tree. And as I continue to walk down, I can see quite a few just happily lying down there. Just enjoying the sun. And as I turn to my left, I've just got some more goats obviously found a nice log to sit on nice and cool and of course in the distance the zebra okay so we'll start uh, walking away from the paddocks and into the main section of the park now and we will continue on our tour and meanwhile as we head back We'll just go over all of the beautiful animals that we've seen so far. Lovely zebras in the background there. A beautiful deer that's walked right down the whole way with us. And we're nearly approaching the capybaras again. Still sat down, enjoying the sun. So we'll continue down. And I'm first approaching the meerkats. So we'll just uh, stop for a second again at those. There we are. 
We've got the guard or the sentry on lookout. And everybody else come to see what's going on. Okay. So entering the main part of the park now. Heading towards the Salcutta tortoise. So he is a giant tortoise. We do only have one of him. Just turn this corner and he will be to the left. So he's outside, so he does have his big shed here and the cat flap that he comes out of. And then he's got all of, all of this lovely green area as well. Um, and he's just gonna hopefully come around this bush and we can just uh, come and see him. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so we'll continue on our tour. So we'll see what else we can find. Um, also here, we've literally just come straight to the raccoon dogs. We've got one facing us and one just lying down in the grass is there. Lots of hiding spaces and shady areas for these guys as well. Um, so we do have raccoons as well, um, but these are the raccoon dogs. And you can see they are a little bit smaller than the raccoons. I will see if I can get you a nice viewing of the raccoons as well. Um, to my left, we can see the bush dog. And we'll head down, see if we can get a viewing of the raccoons. Here we go. As you can see, there's um, a lot more um, sort of height uh, to the raccoons and their faces are just slightly different. Same family and actually same family as the ringtail coatis that we saw near the beginning as well. Okay, so now we've come up to the other side um, of the flamingos. Um, so you can now see this area of their enclosure. So now we've come to um, our Turaco enclosure and we've got lots of nice uh, new birds in here. So this is a fairly new enclosure. Got lots of nesting going on in here at the moment um, and as I move further down lots of ducks as well so on my left we're really lucky um, with the timing because as I've just passed um, the otters have just been given their scatter feed so throughout the day, we have to feed our otters every couple of hours um, because um, in one day they will eat about 50% of their body weight in food. So we have to um, scatter that throughout the day. So every couple of hours they might have a little piece of meat or perhaps some fish. Um, but then at about half past 12, one o'clock, we give them a scatter feed of cat biscuits and um, maybe some carrot, tomato, pear, apple. And we literally just throw that all into the enclosure, 50% um, on the land and 50% in, in the water. Um, because actually otters do spend about um, half of their time on land and half of their time in the water. So what we're looking um, to do is encourage those natural behaviours that we would see in the wild. Um, so uh, timing wise, it's absolutely perfect that we've literally just walked past and we've been able to witness these guys literally just foraging for those little pieces of tomato and carrots and those cat biscuits as well 
so heading into the centre of the park and um, this is our guinea pig enclosure so we have about 12 guinea pigs in here and they're all just munching on all of that lovely fresh fruit and veg that they've had for their breakfast so we'll move on then and see if we can get a viewing of the links Okay, so I think I've got sight of one of them. So where these guys like to hide is literally on top of their shed. So hopefully you can see our female just sat up there. And she likes it up there because she can see everyone from a distance. And see what's coming. So unbelievably I've just uh, spotted um, where our male lynx was and um, I'm just going to stop here for a second because I've just managed to get you this amazing viewing um, and actually it looks like our females joined as well. It's amazing those sounds that they make. She's being very vocal today. You can see our male quite contented. Okay, so moving on, we've got the education centre. Um, in here, in this enclosure, I just want to show you um, one of my favourite animals in the whole park. Um, so this is Archie and he is an armadillo. He does live with our three tortoises um, and he's absolutely amazing. He's a three-banded armadillo. So this is him over here. And what's really amazing about these armadillos is if I carefully pick him up, can you see that he's gone nice and tight into a ball? And this is his protection. So he's even got um, a sort of plate around his head as well, um, just to keep him nice and safe away from any predators. And he is completely tucked in there like a nice ball. So if I pop him down, you can see hopefully he will come out in a minute. So these bands here, these are flexible pieces of muscle that move and contract. So that's what enables Archie to go into that perfect ball. And then here he is, out again. Absolutely beautiful. And of course our tortoises as well. So we'll move on. And I'm hoping that I can get you a good viewing of our fishing cat. So there's a couple of areas that we can go to try and get that viewing. So we'll see which area is going to be the best as we look at other animals as we're going. Um, so to my right now we've got our burrowing owl. And so these guys obviously can fly and they will um, go onto branches and stuff. But actually they are called burrowing owls because you can see on the ground here we've got a nice little hide and um, that's because most of the time they spend their time in the crevices of trees um, so we try and sort of recreate that here at the zoo so as we continue round we'll see if we can get a nice viewing of our lemurs And just before we do that, I can introduce you to our Amazon parrots. So we've got Queenie and Ed. They're very talkative and they do say hello to us and a few other speeches as well. And here we are, our troop of lemurs. 
all curled up together nice and tight so we've actually got seven ringtail lemurs in here so walking past the fishing cat enclosure now um, and i have managed to find bruce um, so he is our fishing cat so i think he's going to come right up close to us so you are getting a really nice viewing of him now Oh, and he's just going to have a little sit down. How lovely. You guys have been able to get such a good viewing. I'm just going to sit here just for a few seconds um, because this is quite a rare opportunity of being able to see such a beautiful cat. And he's being very photogenic for us at the moment. Lovely. See if we can get a little viewing. So here we've got our peacocks free roaming the park. And we've got our second troop of lemurs here as well. Further down into the park then we've got our mongooses. So these are the yellow mongooses. startled them again as I walk down and we've got a brand new enclosure here as well um, which we've got the cussy mounts in I'll just go around the other side we've got a bit of a glare there we are so we've got three of these in here and what we've done is we've got lots of logs which we've hollowed out and that just gives them nice tunnel systems Okay, so to my right now, we're heading into the watering. So in my next video, um, I will come back into here and give you um, a little viewing of um, some of our animals. Um, but just to give you a little sneaky peek now, so we've got some stick insects here. We've got our lovely hissing cockroaches down here. Anybody that likes spiders, we've got a little tarantula there. Our beautiful frilled lizard sitting on the rock. We've got three of them. And then you can just about see a tail, but in here we've got our boa constrictor. She is about eight foot, so she is quite big. And then along here, our bearded dragons. And we've also got our tegu as well. He's currently sleeping. Okay. So just heading now towards the center of the park. And we've got our white stalk enclosure. And we've also got our kookaburras in here. And we've got some pheasants as well. I'll see if I can go around and see if I can get you a nice viewing of the stalks. We have got a little baby at the moment, so um, they could be a little bit busy. And we don't want to startle them too much. Okay, so this is the main aviary. Um, so here in the main aviary, we've got lots of ibis. Um, lots of different wader birds and there's just lots of different areas here we've also got more pheasants just a nice selection of different birds so I've hoped you've enjoyed this uh, virtual tour and I look forward um, to the next um, few videos where we can get up close and personal um, to some of the animals here at the park